and those that be planted in the house of the law will still bring forth fruit even in old age, even after retirement. I don't have a church, and I cannot have a church because God has not infused me with the capacity to do so. This is my church. Even after retirement, I shall remain in the winner's family. I may be privileged to bless other churches other than winners, but there's nothing I'm going to teach them also than what I've learned a winner. I will also be privileged to document some of the the virtues and value that God has infested in me for upcoming generation. As I love, I will continue to practice liberality and charity to the poor, needy, the widowed, orphans, and the fatherless, as God will enable me. And I believe as God's servant released the next prophetic blessing on me again, Ah, I'm going higher. I thank you all for gracing this occasion, and God bless you all. Long live the leadership of this great commission. Not leave the Living Faith Church worldwide, also known as Winner Chapel International. Thank you all. And God bless you. You can't tell how much you carry until order is set to your life. Some can't tell how much the money in their hand is worth until they set order to it. That has kept us going since the beginning and forever. There are some things here just to show you before we go to the blessing. This is our admitting policy, 1998, reviewed 2001. This is admitting policy and book. 2003. This is the mandate 2012 and reviewed this year after 12 years. We have, by divine orchestration, operated by divine order, which has kept this ministry on our feet till tomorrow. Please set order to your life. He said, the Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of their times and the strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is the mystery that makes it work. I'm glad today that we're in this validity service. And the main purpose is to unleash next level grace for the individuals involved to keep going till Jesus comes because the command of the master is occupy till I come and when you are on key with God even in old age you are still bringing forth fruits to God be all the glory <laughs> to God be all the glory so my advice to commentators study to be quiet and face your business it's wisdom to learn what is working and to find out what is making it work everything works here 44 chinese pastors were on the platform last sunday only two of them speak english by reason of the impact of this ministry in their lives. They came all the way from China, from 11 districts. This morning we had testimonies from UK, 
from Winnipeg, from Italy, from last Tuesday liberation hour service. Instant turnaround testimony by keeping to what we are sent. You see, you may not know what you are saying, maybe that's your problem. You can't have an assignment and be nothing here and there. All of my privileged sons in the ministry have never tried to find out what did they preach. No. They have a mandate. And they're pushing the mandate. And it's working. Can I hear your amen? Yeah. You never hear on this platform forever any attack launched on any ministry. Forever, it has never happened. Study to be quiet, do your own business. This thing works. You must have heard the news of Covenant University, Landmark University. It's working. This is an open system. Everything we do works because God is at all. My prayer for everyone here tonight is that everything in your life will keep working. As you allow God to be at the center of your life. When God is out of the equation, crisis come along. Hardship comes along. And when God is there, he keeps working. Now for my beloved son and his wife, good things won't stop working in your life. As you keep God at the center of your life. Keep God at the center of your life. God has been resident in the equation of my life for 55 years. I've not had one day of regret. One day. Keep him there. Don't go on spiritual vacation. It's a risk. Keep Jesus at the center of your life actively. Now, here is what happens, and I want to take note of this. Some people talk about this one pray for me, nothing happened. This one pray for me, nothing happened. Even if Jesus prayed for you, you don't have faith, nothing will happen. <laughs> Ministering to people has a two way responsibility. You can't be healed by the faith of the one who prayed for you, it's by your faith to get healed. There is no minister that will pray over you with impact without your faith. Somebody got hit of hypertension way in UK and somebody was sitting in front in that service. I couldn't get hit of headache. So it's not about God, it's about you. Believe the Lord your God, you shall be established. Be this prophet, the prophet, and you shall prosper. I still remember how the Lord visited you when you were in Sokoto. Faith in the anointed helps you to tap into the virtue they carry. Those that receive the prophet in the name of the prophet, they receive the prophet's reward. This is the way it works. Every proclamation of my life by those sent my way, it's walking like fire. Some have gone to heaven, but it's still walking here. It's still walking here. Therefore, as I've always believed, the blessings of today will change your level forever. Yeah. It will change your level forever. Yeah. It will change your level forever. Yeah. When I pray over you and you're not healed, don't ask me questions, ask yourself questions. Jesus said to them, do you believe that I, the son of man, am able to do this? They said, yes, Lord. He said, okay, according to your faith. So your healing is according to your faith. That means every blessing proclaimed delivers according to your faith. Every blessing proclaimed on your life will only deliver according to your faith. Not the faith of the proclaimer, but the recipient. But the faith of the recipient. But the faith of the recipient. But the faith of the recipient. 
everything God said to me about Covenant University came, has come to pass. Everything. 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 And it's still coming to pass in faces. What you don't believe, you are never empowered to experience. That's why they call Christianity the faith. That is the substance of redemption is the faith. Without your faith, nothing happens. Jesus prayed over them in Nazareth. They were not healed. And he marveled at their own belief. He carried immeasurable anointing. Yet it couldn't flow to them because their faith never opened up to it. So it is the blessing proclaimed that you believe that adds value to your life. This is so important. Many of us have assessed a lot of revelation from the Word of God in our private studies, in our meditation. But there is no faith to make it work. So build your faith to connect with the performing hand of God that only responds to faith. Blessed she that believeth there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Luke 5, 1 for 2. There can't be performance without faith. There can't be performance without faith. Like tonight. I've declared that somebody's celebration is starting right now. Yeah. And will not end forever. Yeah. Somebody's depression is deflated tonight. Yeah. I will never come back again. Yeah. Many years ago, the Lord said to me, Behold, I've touched your tongue with the coal of fire. As you say it, you will see it. So whatever I claim on your life as a rubber stamp of heaven to make it happen if your faith is awake. You can wear with any concern during celebration service it is turned to a testimony. 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 Now watch, in these last days, God is turning the hearts of fathers to their children and the hearts of children to their fathers. Why? Among other things, people prevail by the blessing of fathers. Say so the blessing of their father has prevailed. People prevail by the blessing of... We live in a very arrogant generation. But a number of us who understand the fatherhood agenda of God, we have escaped many things that others are struggling over. We are just riding on the wings of those individuals as orchestrated by God. Nobody has an inheritance in a teacher. You don't have an inheritance in a pastor. Have an health and fathers. <laughs> a good man is an health for children and children. There are individuals that are too big to recognize any spiritual father in their life. And they are struggling all the way. Struggling all the way. A word came upon me back in 87 from Megan. Fresh oil, Lord. Fresh oil. And keep him ever fresh. I've never known a burnout in my life. Yet, I'm not a friend of vacation. I'm on duty 24-7. I'm alive and well and strong. Fresh air, Lord, keep him ever fresh. No more than that. I received it wholeheartedly. It began to flow into my life openly. In the name of Jesus Christ, because everything produces after its kind. The child of a lion, does, of, of an elephant, does not pray to be big. The DNA of bigness is in him. Therefore, every grace that you have seen in this commission will start manifesting your life in a new way. 
We belong to a family tree that is global. Our family, our spiritual family tree is global in nature. It's global. Every name you mention in that lineage is global. It's global. Therefore, the grace that makes it work here will begin to work in your life. We begin to walk in your life in the name of Jesus. 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 Anybody wishing this ministry to fall is wasting his life. <laughs> Complete waste. You build on the wall, forget about the devil. No one builds his life on the world without an assured future. The wind may come, the storm may come, but that building will remain standing. That is our story. We have been building on the world since inception. All kinds of winds from the early days, all kinds of winds. We were stopped standing on the way to our church in Kaduna and asking them to go back, go back, go back, go back. They are missed us all. We have some winds. I've had one horrible campaign in those days in Lagos for seven years, unabated. So I never had time to watch once. I'm too busy. Anything built on the wall, no devil can bring it down. One even wind blew one day <laughs> in Lagos, and that wind went straight to the church. In Goshen, same wind, same day, zero effect. Zero effect. Build your life on the world. Get rid of junks. You don't need them. You don't need them. I land at his feet every day. I write every day, like my son here said, he speaks to me, and you know, he speaks to me every day. I told you in South Africa, I said, you are going to Ghana. He said, you told your wife earlier that we're leaving from South Africa to Ghana. I hear distinctly from God. You will never stop hearing from him. You will not mistake the voice of a stranger for the voice of the shepherd. Everyone sitting down here, you have a right. Every child of God has a right to the voice of God. I know my sheep. Are you a sheep of Christ? Then, it's, and they know my voice. It's not a special gift. It's just knowing that you have a right to it and know how to position yourself to hear from him. I was in the spirit and I heard. In the flesh, carrying junks all over the places. You are in the spirit. You block your ears with nonsense music, all kinds of things. How can you hear? I was in the spirit on the Lord's day, and I heard, and I heard, and I heard. May every form of spiritual deafness that has kept you rotating in the same spot come to an end today. We are a very strong spiritual family as made possible by God. My God, uh, nobody can explain it. But grace. But grace. But grace. May the same grace follow you through. It's an all season grace, all weather grace. Things are hot. The grace is working. Things are cool. The things are working. Things are top all the time. For instance, we are not owing anybody living or dead. And yet, things have never stopped working. May the weight of indebtedness be over in your life today. You are a seed of Abraham. There was no way that Abraham borrowed. Therefore, 
the plague of indebtedness has ravaged anyone's family. That plague is over today. They say, but this is business. Abraham was a business emperor. He had an army to himself. So what, what, what is business? Yet, he wasn't caught up in the world. I decree heaven's strange order of blessings that obey you out of indebtedness and you will never be found there again. In the name of Jesus. My greatest privilege in life apart from salvation is a direction to study biographies. It's so easy when you learn how people have worked their way up and you want to experience what they experience, just take their steps. There are no private revelations in scriptures what I say to one, I say to what? Oh. No private testimonies. Everything is a pointer to your own heritage in Christ. The testimonies of Isaac as an heritage forever. They are the rejoicing of my heart. So open up. Open up. Occupy the place of a learner. So you don't lose your rest. Come and learn of me and you find rest for your souls. It's a sin of rest. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whatever you have heard tonight, if you connect with it, your story has changed. Amen. Your story has changed. Amen. Your story has changed. Amen. You have come to the midst of prophets. It's your right to prophesy. Amen. It will be said of you shortly. Is he also one of them? Because God will turn to proverbial success. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now back to the celebrant. There is nothing called best today. Best is tomorrow. Best is in quest. Best is in view. If you call it best today, what will it be tomorrow? Bester? No. Best is in view. Thank God for where grace has brought you. There are only stepping stones to where God is taking you. Wake up. Put on strength. Put on strength. Let your seeking God go to next level. Let your camping around this world go to next level. There is no degree of darkness that can challenge the authority of light. And the entrance of his world gives light. So put on strength. Put on your beautiful garment. Get ready. Somebody asked me, say, now you are 70. What are you looking forward to? I said, I'm, I'm in the center of the race. I'm in the center of the race. Uh, there, um, uh, there's something I'm looking back for. I'm right in the center of the race, and I will run it till I draw my last breath. So, put on strength. Don't carry a retirement mentality. Put on strength. Put on your beautiful garment. God has greater things in store for you. In the name of Jesus. And whatever you dream of doing, to invent to the next generation. Grace to do it is coming upon you today. Grace to do it is coming upon you today. Grace to do it is coming upon you today. And all ministers who are here, my precious ones, who belong to the same family, in the name of Jesus, order will remain intact in your ministry. The grace of growth and expansion that you see here will come upon you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Now, what I hear from God or not, you can tell. How can God tell me you are building 5,000 churches this year? I never heard that before. I never read it in any book. Yet he did it in one year. Okay, we are not doing any church plans in this year. You are planting 10,000 churches this year. What? And he did it. 10,400 churches. In spite of COVID-19. And 1,300 churches in 35 other nations of the world. When God speaks, but he has cleared the way. Can I tell you this? 
if you won't stop hearing from God, no devil can keep you on the same spot. No devil can keep you on the same spot. So it's your turn. It's your turn. I'm going to be praying with you right now. You and your wife. The prayer will spread over to your children and your grandchildren. There shall be no evil reports. All through the days of your life. Your lineage shall be a lineage of blessing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every good seed you have sown in this commission till date, we keep yielding harvest. But look at me. Stay connected. The day a pipe disconnects from the mains, it will run dry. Stay connected. Stay connected. Consciously so. Genuinely so. Spiritually so. Stay connected. Don't bug your head answering questions that are unfounded. No one can quote silence. No one can quote silence. Beware of strangers that may come on your way and lay them aside. I have done that all my life and it's working. Even those who have gone to heaven, my connectivity remains intact and the grace is flowing unabated. Stay connected. Stay connected. There is no self made man in the world. Stay connected. <laughs> Stay connected so as to secure the flow of grace and not get disconnected from it in the name of Jesus. Please stand to your feet. Can I ask the church to stop, please? You send this new couple, newly wedded couple. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Night from the heart of my heart, and with the prophetic grace of my life, that I proclaim a new dawn on your life. <laughs> That whatever grace flows in me continues to flow in your life. Amen. You never tell the story in your life when I used to serve God. Amen. Till your last day, God will remain at the center of your life. Amen. The same goes for your children Amen. and your grandchildren. Amen. Your great grandchildren. Amen. Now look at me. You will live long together. Amen. You will live long together. Amen. Doctors give someone three months to live, and it's 30 years after. Jesus had the final say. You will live long together. Amen. There shall be no infant death in your lineage. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Get on your knees. Please set forth your hands. All the anointed men and women that are here. Begin to proclaim freshness. 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 In Jesus' precious name we pray. Now I am part upon your life today. Next level of grace. It's yours. Amen. It's yours. Amen. Next level of health. Amen. It's yours. Amen. And 
please hear us. Amen. Next level order of quality work with God Amen. is yours. Amen. And is yours. Amen. Next level order of passion for soul. Amen. Paul said, by the help of God, I continue to this day witnessing the book great and small. It's yours today. Amen. It's yours today. Amen. Even in old days, you shall see bring forth fruit. Amen. That's all. In the name of Jesus, Amen. till you draw your last breath, at your very good old age, you still be leading into Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Nothing goes down in your hand. Amen. Nothing dies in your hand. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your labor in this very year will keep answering a reward. Amen. It shall be from glory to glory. Amen. Now you'll be hearing only good news. Amen. From children, Amen. from grandchildren, Amen. from relations. Amen. Only good news. Amen. Your rest shall be unperturbed. Amen. Whatever will happen to anyone that call you on rest will never happen. Amen. So shall it be. Untimely death is rebuked. A good old days our heritage in the Abrahamic covenant, and that is your heritage. It will be said concerning your family, they don't die young there. In the name of Jesus. Now I pray for next level of grace for revelation. The Bible will never become like Greek to you anymore. Amen. And all the days of your life. Amen. Your prayer life will never go down. Amen. The fire on your altar will keep burning. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Now, by the blessings of your Father, begin to prevail where others travail. Begin to prevail where others travail. Begin to prevail where others travail. In Jesus' precious name. Help me give Jesus the biggest hand of praise. Amen. Praise.